my name is Duddy, it's Adult Builds and Stuff, and today we're going to be combining a bit of solar and a bit of stasis. We are going to be using Kepri's horn to smash our stasis crystals, a bit of solar wave along the floor, look at that. The full build is based around Kepri's horn, solar final blows recharge your barricade, which unleashes a final blast of solar energy that scorches targets when summoned, so you put your class ability down and that leaves like a big solar wave along the ground. I didn't want to do it on solar, I just wanted to mix it up, so I put it on stasis, and when you pair it with Whisper of Fishes, increase the damage in the size and the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal, or defeat a frozen target, it's really, really good. Plus, you've got to heal the storm, shattering in case targets, uh, and stasis crystals deals increased damage. Shattering stasis crystal releases shards on a vice that damage and slow the targets. And then we've also got Pillar of Ice, defeating encased combatants, spawn stasis crystals. So a mixture of these sort of mod uh, fragments and artifact packs really make this build feel really, really unique. So you throw your glacier grenade down, make sure you encase an enemy, and then put your barricade down, and you'll see you just get a big solar wave from the Capri Zone, which in then turn smashes them stasis crystals, causing absolute carnage. It's just a nifty little thing that I found really, really helpful. Just if you really like messing around with sort of solar and stasis or mixture of builds like a hybrid sort of setup, it's actually pretty useful. I use these at GMs and you'll see it does quite a lot of damage. And it's a very nifty little trick, just smashing enemies without really having to do anything. All you've got to do is put your class ability down. I built the build around getting class ability back, which we'll go into as well. And just having that scorch on stasis feels pretty unique. The two aspects I pair with this are diamond lands. This works really nicely. This gives you diamond lances that you can throw to freeze targets as well. Tectonic Harvest, this one is really important to the build. We're going to go into this one a little bit more as we go. But every time you shatter a crystal, it spawns a stasis shard. We're going to be using these shards to get really good class ability back. But the main two things uh, will really make this build tick. Whisper of Fishes and Hail the Storm. Both, bit, both of these, uh, the Whisper of Fishes Fragment and the Hail the Storm Seasonal Artifact Pack. Just cause absolute carnage. You clear so many ads with this, and as you've seen in GMs and things like that, it's really good. Just massive ad clearance capabilities. And you got a diamond lance as well to freeze targets. Whisper of refraction. Now, every time you defeat slow down throws and combatants, it grants class ability energy. Just keep an eye on this class ability, what's happening. Because obviously the slowed and the frozen and the Kepri's horns killing them. The wave along the ground and you just get massive, massive chunks of class ability back. So you can spam your class ability everywhere. Dead Messenger is a really good one. I found a works with this. It's got the fundamentals pack on there. You can also obviously make this one solar void or arc. But having two wave frames along the ground, wave frame grenade launches in particular, but I found Dead Messenger really good. If you don't have that, Explosive Personality is another good one to run, a wave frame. And then if you're running a solar one, you've got Rapid Solar Weapon Final Hits, Grant uh, you radiant, you've also got kindling trigger, radiant causes solar weapons to apply scorch so if you're running solar waveframes you can always proc your seasonal artifact packs as well which is really really good but again I'm just going to show you some GM gameplay and how it works, look at that it's really really good all I've done there is just use my class ability, not use any ammo and it feels really really strong just absolute carnage and you've got all them seasonal artifact packs kicking in as well so I did want to build the build around the class ability, obviously with Kepri's Horn, but Whisper of Refraction, which we touched on defeating Slider for us and Combatants, grants you class ability energy. This works absolutely perfectly, but what I've done is I've paired it with Utility Kickstart, just so we can consistently spam our Kepri's Horn Soul Wave along the ground. Whenever you use your class ability, you get big chunks of class ability back. Pair that with Tectonic Harvest. Every time you shatter a crystal, you get a Stasis Shard, and then what I'm doing is I'm running Elemental Charge to become to give myself an armor charge for my utility kickstart so just smash a crystal and you get infinite amount of elemental shards you pick them up and you've got an infinite amount of armor charges for your uh, utility kickstart whisper of shards we've also got our grenade recharge covered as well so you get loads of grenades back as well with whisper of shards every time you destroy a stasis crystal you get a big boost to discipline and it's a really good little setup that's everything uh, i'm going to leave the build playing out let me know what you think of this build if you enjoy sort of hybrid mixing things up like this let me know i've done a few builds similar to this in the past i hope you found this helpful thanks for watching have a great day